This is how you can create number counter effect in Premiere Pro. To start, let's create a new color mat and set it to a dark blue background. Drag and drop this color mat onto your timeline. Next use the rectangle tool to make a rectangular shape. Open the essential graphics panel from the window menu. Under the edit tab, change the fill color to orange. Let's add rounded corners to the rectangle. I need more space, so I'll close this panel now. Now let's add a new transparent video. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. Select the transparent video layer. Open the effects panel and search for the timecode effect. Double click to apply it. Head over to the effect controls panel and under timecode, adjust parameters like position and scale. Remove black background by setting opacity to zero, disable the field symbol, and set the time display to 30 nom drop frame to create a digital clock look. Set the timecode source to generate, to customize the timecode if needed. Adjust the size of the rectangle shape. Select both the rectangle and the transparent video layer, then nest them together and name it Timer. With the nested layer selected, add a mirror effect from the Effects panel. From the Effect Controls panel, set the reflection angle to 90 degrees for a vertical reflection and adjust the Y value for finer alignment. Move the entire layer down a bit. Under the Mirror section, click on the rectangle icon to create a four-point polygon mask. Adjust its position and size on the preview screen. To enhance the reflection effect, increase the mask feather value. It looks great now. For a countdown effect, right-click on the nested layer, select speed and duration, and check the reverse option. There you have it. Bonus tip, if you want to show only the seconds instead of the entire time code, apply a crop effect. In the effect controls panel, click on crop section, and you can adjust size on the preview screen to focus on a specific area. However, I prefer to keep the entire time code, so I'll revert those changes to the previous state. As a final touch, let's add a counter sound effect. It's short, so let's create loop by duplicating audio. Hold Alt or Option key, drag and drop, and this is what you will end up with.